With graffiti and vandalism on the rise in Vancouver, organizations and businesses have been forced to spend thousands of dollars to clean it up. Now the city is exploring a new way to try to fight the problem. CTV's Ben Nesbitt joins us now from Columbia Street in Vancouver. Ben. Yeah, Mi Jung, this is exactly what they do not want. This is the side of multiple businesses. It's pricey to clean up, and it's obviously disrespectful. What they're looking into doing now is having designated areas around the city where spray painting would actually be allowed. While Chinatown has been the hardest hit area, the graffiti has reached all corners of the city. Several community policing groups have weekly cleanups, but they say it's becoming harder to keep up with the rise in vandalism. Other major cities, such as Toronto, have implemented these legal street art zones. Councillor Pete Fry is one of multiple councillors pushing for Vancouver to do the same. We're here in historic Chinatown, which is still one of the best neighborhoods, most vibrant neighborhoods in our city, but struggles with a lot of this graffiti and, and tagging really on storefronts and stuff. And it costs businesses a heck of a lot of money. The city of Vancouver has pumped hundreds of thousands of dollars into grants to support graffiti abatement. And so we're hoping that this could actually be part of a solution in addition to obviously removing unwanted tags on storefronts and businesses. City staff looked at 20 cities around the world that have used this strategy, and while they found that it worked for many, for others, vandalism actually increased. They'll now work with local stakeholders to determine if Vancouver should take the plunge. Mi Jung.